The Hemiway Cruiser is a fat tired e-bike with awesome build quality and epic specs, but as usual we can't trust these specs at face value which means we need to give this bike a proper smashing. Initially I thought to make the video more interesting I'd try and attempt getting close to a biking world record until I looked them up and realised I can't even bike 500 metres to the shop without needing a lie down. So I glossed back over the specs and found something that stood out to me, the £350 payload capacity. I'm going to load up this rear baggage plate with as much weight as I can find and secure it and then take it down some bike trails to see if it snaps. But before we do that, let's have a proper look at the bike. So let's drop in here. Out of my bike. Oh my god. We are at Danbury. Um, few nice little trails here, everything's instantly loose, but these fat tyres quite nice. Oh my god, it jumps! Insane! I'm actually quite impressed with the quality of this bike so far. Oh my god, quite heavy. Not sure about that front suspension, but otherwise, pretty good. Really firm. Nice. All oh, the fat tyre grip. Actually unreal. Instantly can't breathe, but with this motor on it, I'm barely, I'm actually like, I might as well not be even pedaling. So easy and good. Come on, mate. Let's get up here. Easy on the hill climbs. Clearly I didn't do up my screen very tight because so it's just wobbling around but this 250 watt motor, 80 newton meters of torque, just pulling me up this hill like it is literally flat ground. It's insane. So far I think this is actually one of the better little e-bikes that I've had on this channel which is sick. Build quality is just actually mental to be honest. Back in again this time on a different trail with these sick tender tires just really made me feel ridiculous oh no my trains come on okay let's do a quick bit of maintenance there we go straight back into the action then on a different line wow i can actually find it oh oh my god this is sick Oh my, what is that bike? Oh! Nearly stacking it in front of the whole of the battery. And I did actually switch the brake around this time so they're on the correct side. Anyway, brakes swapped around so they're on the correct side. Can actually go down these trails with a bit more force. It's jumping really nice at the minute, to be honest. Would be rude. Not to try and get on this. Yeah. That's actually too good. Let's go up this hill. Quite steep. See if we can. Yeah, the toe is incredible. I can lay off the leg power. And just let the motor do all the work. We're ramping up to what you've all been waiting for though. The max payload. Let's go down there. Green. I think that's probably enough normal testing now. So what we're going to do, get up to the car and I'm going to show you what I bought to overload the back of this bike. Yeah. So then what I have bought is seven of these sharp sandbags from B&Q. They all weigh 22 and a half kilograms each and I'm going to ratchet strap them down to this. And I've also got some sort of bungee cord which is probably going to do nothing but sort of makes it feel a bit safer we're going to see if i can bend this bit of metal if it doesn't you know they're telling the truth if it does i probably won't be surprised because realistically 150 kilograms on that bit of metal is probably going to do some sort of damage to it but we're about to find out what i've learned so far is i actually don't know how you do ratchet straps which is lucky because i bought some of these type of ones so what i'm going to do now i don't really know like how I'm going to do it. I think if I just do it like that, it'll probably be all right. I'm not sure how much weight that 
like little kickstand thing's gonna take. We'll just keep sort of adding weight. I can already see that I'm definitely not gonna be able to put seven bags on here, am I? Let's face it. So that's 45 kilos. Um, yeah, I'm starting to think this is a bit of a waste of money. Goodness gracious, look, it's already like, <laughs> I need to sort of evenly distribute the weight. I may have to come back once I've done this. So, see you in a sec. Okay. Here we go. I don't know if this is gonna work. Oh my. Nah, this is unreal. I can't even hold the bike up. I don't know if this is gonna work. I'm not gonna be able to jump it, that's for sure, because I'll literally, literally die. Hopefully this motor works. Look, I can't even move it. Oh wait, no, I'm in power mode one. That's probably why. Come on, bike, give me some power. Oh, okay, nah. Come on, bike. I don't think this is gonna work. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to, oh, no. <laughs> I don't think I can do this. Okay, it can't be power mode five. There's actually no chance I'm getting down one of these trails. This just isn't gonna work. What am I doing? Oh my God. No, it's so out of control. <laughs> okay, this is unreal. Oh my god. Well, I'm stuck now. Look at my sand. How am I gonna... Oh, this is so dangerous and bad. No, this wasn't actually my greatest idea ever. 150 kilograms. As if I was ever gonna put that on the back. See, like, the thing is, it doesn't engage power quick enough. Okay, I'm just gonna have to... I'm just gonna have to brute force it. Right, come on. Come on. Right, if you ever buy this bike, don't try this. Come on. Maybe. Oh, no, this wasn't, this wasn't the best idea I've ever had. Maybe if I can shift the weight. Come on, come on. Oh, okay. Oh. Sick. Sorry. Oh, slow down. I'm guessing it didn't work so well. Nope. Oh. Yeah, I don't think that's going to work, actually. <laughs> okay, so I've had to abort mission and put all the sand yeah. there because there's literally no chance I'm going to be able to finish that with all that on the back. Yeah. Okay, well, that didn't work at all, but you'd think if it was going to bend, it would have bent from that, probably, and it hasn't. That's already like that, so I think it's all good. I'm not going to be able to do all that ridiculous sand mounting. So, I guess we'll just go back into these trails and just try and ride it normally. This bike is the best powering through them jump. We'll get back into this trail here. Down we go. A little bit of cutty action. The dream. Around here. Dressing real nice. Bit of a tight turn there and completed. That is incredible. That sandbag idea didn't really work. We have to think of something else to do now. I am at Danbury and there is a good few things I could hit. Uh, there's a few drops over there actually. I think that would be probably quite a good test. Can I get up that? Oh my God. No, once again, the bike's still fine. Bent that mud guard a bit, but did actually want to go down one of those though. That was like, point, come on power. There we go. The only like thing I have against this is the way the power comes in. It's not actually instant from your pedaling, if that makes sense. And if you brake, it cuts the power. But I think there's probably a cable connected to the brake that I could unplug and then it wouldn't do that. Okay, I found a little line. It's like, you come around here, into that. Oh no, my chain's come off. But we're gonna continue. Then there's the drop somewhere. Where is it? Here, yeah. Down that. The dream. Can I keep the speed? Yes, I can. But my chain has come off. I'm sure, does it work? Oh my God, why does that work? It still works with no chain. There must be like a pedal sensor or something. I don't know if that was an intentional feature of theirs. Either way, 
it's a good accidental or on purpose idea if your chain comes off you can just carry on oh yeah it does actually come with a throttle which i unplugged so i could put these pill grips on that's probably why that still works okay so i did say i was gonna put the sand back on this and try and break it i do have four bags of sand what i'm gonna do is just try and load it up on the back and sort of bang it around and stuff and see if this bends i don't actually think it will but let's see what happens when i load it up i don't have a way of like holding the bike up so i'm gonna have to try and counterweight this sand i wonder if that foot will break let's try and break that foot as well right see if we can get three on there okay so three is where it starts to get out of control fourth bag let's proper dump that on right let's assess the damage okay so we've got our sand nothing's broken that didn't even break it just tucked in i think this still hasn't bent right now i have to break it let's just has that broken anything it's not even like come loose <clears throat> literally all it's doing is making the train come off that is quite impressive well then the sun is dropping behind me and the Hemiway cruiser has survived this whole little adventure. We did manage to mount some ridiculous weight to the back but didn't work as I expected it to. It probably would work if I'd actually spent a bit more time strapping it down properly but to be honest trying to like hold all that weight firstly on that leg then realizing that leg's not going to take the weight and having to lean it against the car and i'm like uh don't really know if i want to keep doing this bit pointless that i bought seven bags when only three worked i am going to go and get them sandbags and put them back in here in a bit but yeah the hemiway cruiser so then to recap we've got the 250 watt hub motor that produces 80 newton meters of torque this battery is actually a samsung one 48 volt so you'd hope with a brand like that as the battery that this is quite a strong long lasting good thing with a name brand like that um, we've got five power modes obviously a top speed of what is in the uk 15.5 miles an hour which is more than enough when you've got that power to pull you up the hills we've got the fat kender tires obviously helping with all the grip super super sick they do actually say 90 kilogram max payload on them so technically that would have been overweight when i had them three sandbags on there and finally one thing i didn't mention you get 35 to 60 miles of range on this bike depending on what mode you have it in whether that's level one power assist or fully on the throttle with no pedaling there is also a space here to mount a little number plate thing that you get which is pretty cool so you can put a little logo on there if you want i actually got this allen key set in the box which i think everyone gets and it's got all sorts of good size it's actually a really good quality allen key set which is pretty pretty sick so that just about concludes this video on this bike i hope you guys enjoyed it more stuff coming soon let me know in the comments if you've got any ideas oh and don't forget the seven speed shimano cassette see you in the next one